um, personal finance is actually more flexible than that. Um, <laughs> Hello everyone. Hi, kamusta? Ayan. So parang uh, meron tayong magandang topic today, no? So, oh, i-discuss natin sa mga kwarto-kwarto natin. <laughs> Baka, uh, ma- ma-petition din tayo dito. <laughs> oh, okay. But anyway, kasi syempre, ever since na nag-start itong ating mga, itong lockdown, a lot of people are online. Yes. And when when a lot of people are online, of course, uh, there will be people who will take advantage, no? Uh, particularly mm. sa personal finance although mm. syempre dati na naman to pero may mga tao kasi na uh, nagbigay ng mga financial advice financial tips online mm. that's And, right uh, yan yung gusto natin pag-usapan na ano ba yung tips tama ba ano ba ano so, ba exactly kailangan na, natin i-discuss ko ano dapat yung gagawin natin bago tayo maniwala sa mga financial advice na ito or sa mga financial gurus, no? Or like, uh, ano ba yung... Like, kailangan may responsibility din tayo. Yung mga guru-guruhan. 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 I like that term. Sige, mga ka-arky. Discuss natin yan, mga ka-arky, no? Uh, 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 This is actually... Kaya ng scenario, no? So, for uh, example... I would like to learn about uh, specific investment. So, sabihin na natin na uh, uh, stock market, etc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, mm. punta ako sa Facebook, nag-Google ako, etc. And then, mm. of course, may mga results yun. May mga madidiscover ako mga Facebook pages, Facebook groups, and uh, individuals who are giving financial advice. So, uh, uh, ano yung mga kailangan kong tandaan? Ano ba yung mga checklist ko? Uh, bago ako maniwala dito sa mga nababasa ko ng mga financial tips na binibigay na itong isang tao na na search ko lang sa Facebook. Yan. Actually, this is something I discussed to my clients via my personal webinar to them no, mm-hmm. no August about personal portfolio management. No, So what I discussed there was personal mm-hmm. finance is personal. So mga advice na to like yung 8K rule, yung Dave Ramsey's growth strategy, no? They all come from a personal point of view based on their mm-hmm. personal finance din. So, kailangan natin i-contextualize siya, no? Kung saan ba talaga sila nanggagaling. Dahil baka magkaiba yung growth natin, investing growth or investing journey natin versus sa investing journey nila. Baka tayo, beginner pa, nag-start out pa lang or intermediate, tapos sila medyo advanced na. So if we like take it as like gospel or like word of God or whatever, word of ka- God, <laughs> de ba may, de ba may mga ganyan na oh kailangan talaga ganito, oh kailangan talaga ito yung kailangan mo gawin, which is actually not the case. Um, personal finance is actually more flexible than that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But, yun nga, kailangan i-contextualize siya based on your current circumstances. No? So, kailangan mo talaga i-evaluate where you are right now and see kung ano ba talaga yung mas appropriate for you at this given point in time. No? Tama, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, ang Agree. lagi ko example dyan, lalo na yung, kunwari, uh, fan sila ni Robert Kiyosaki Oh. I always tell them na, of course, Robert Kiyosaki is based in the US. So, you can be inspired and motivated dun sa mga sinusulat niya, sinasabi niya. But following exactly yung mga investing strategies niya would be uh, not efficient kasi yung mga real estate investing strategy niya and yung mga iba niyang financial advice, of course, it is coming from the perspective that you are an American. So, mm-hmm. not everything may be applicable in the Philippines. Not every strategy right. may be um, optimized for the Philippine setting. Mm-hmm. So, lagi natin That's tatandaan right. yun, no? Yeah. Yes. That's right. So, ako may mga nilista ako. Sige. <laughs> ano yung okay. matiyan? Baka mamaya, sus ko, 
Patayin na ko. Patayin na ko. Mamaya matrending tayo dyan, ha? Naku, maraming, ma- maraming mawawala ng trabaho. Sa kar- maraming mawawala ng racket dito. <laughs> okay. Okay, sige. Maraming maka-cancel. Ganun. Maka-cancel. Okay. Bear in mind, mga ka-Arky, na ang mga ito ay mga gabay lang. <laughs> yeah, mga gabay lang talaga ito. Uh, but this one is really, no? it's for your own good. Okay? It's for your own good. Number one, unang-una ninyong tatanungin is conflict of interest. Okay? Mm. So halimbawa, merong isang nagsasabi na, oh, buy this stock, ganyan, buy this IPO, etc., etc. Una ninyong tatanungin, baka may conflict of interest yung tao na to dito. Baka director siya doon. Diba? O baka mm-hmm. mamaya, may position na siya doon, nakabili niya siya before, at hinahype lang niya, or, in, hin, or pwedeng hindi niya ng tao, pwedeng grupo eh. Pwedeng mm-hmm. hinahype lang ng grupo na to, yung particular stock, kasi yung mga owner o proponent, eh, nakabili na ng marami. At hinahype lang nila para maniwala ang maraming tao, kasama ka, para pag umakit ang preso, magte-take profit sila sa taas. Bahala na kayo mm. sa buhay nyo. Tapos sasabihin, bodega. <laughs> mm. Diba? Always look for that one. Always ask yourself, or siguro kapag may nag-offer sa inyo, itanongin nyo, do you have a position? Kasi sa states, yung mga nababasa ko na blog and some speakers as well, meron silang disclaimer sa baba parate ay, punare may didiscuss sa particular stock, kunwari, Apple or Disney, meron sila sa baba parati na, I do not have any position in said stock, nor do I plan to have any position in the next 72 or whatever hours. Mm-hmm. So, from there, kapag may disclaimer, makikita mo na yung pagtaya niya o yung assessment niya in that particular stock is objective. Mm-hmm. Hindi niya sinasabi na bumili ka kasi at ako his, his or her mind or their minds, eh, may, nakaposisyon na sila at niloloko lang kayo para, maka, para sumakay at pagdating sa top, eh, umalis. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, tanong nyo parate, okay? Tanong nyo sa speaker o sa grupo na to may posisyon po ba kayo dyan? Nakabili na po ba kayo before? Okay? Mm-hmm. Or, mm-hmm. or para, meron, sila, meron ba silang ano, or partner ba sila doon? Meron ba silang... Yes take doon sa company oh, oh. na yun, no? Oh, oh. And... Do you stand? Siguro ang magandang term doon is, do you stand okay to, to gain. profit? Oh. To gain, mm-hmm. yes, from your stock recommendation. Mm-hmm. Yan, tanong nyo yan. Pag, pag, yeah, pag hindi sumagot, naku, red flag red yan. <laughs> so, very yes. apparent yan sa mga nagbibigay ng mga stock recommendations, no? Mm-hmm. So, make sure na That's walang right. conflict of interest Oo, oh, oh, kasi ka baka, yes, that's right. Kasi baka mamaya, again, baka pinapasakay lang kayo. Okay? Mm, para yeah. sa kanilang sariling kapakanan. Hindi para sa inyo. Mm-hmm. Yan. I think this what happened to Bitcoin back in 2017. Mm-hmm. No? Na nag-hype siya and then a lot of people mm-hmm. wrote on it. Pero nung late 2017, nag-crash. So, lahat nag-take profit. And yun, mm-hmm. actually, yun nadamay doon is lahat nang pumasok at the, at the peak eh. So, mm. akala nila so, tataas. Pa, so, okay. Yeah, be careful, be careful. Next, kapag kayo pinakitaan ng mga, oh, I made X amount of money in this particular stock, okay, or mm. one or two uh, stocks, ang dami kong kinita, 200, 300%, itanong ninyo, okay, just ask them, uh, how uh, can you show me your overall portfolio? Or mm-hmm. how many percent of that particular stock is your overall portfolio? Bakit? Kasi baka mamaya, ang pinapakita lang sa inyo ay katiting lang ng portfolio nila. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isipin cherry niyo. Pick, no? uh-huh. Cherry pick, that's the term. Isipin niyo, magmamaya bang? Oh, kumikita ka ng 200, 300%. Eh kung 1% lang ng portfolio niya yan, kahit mag 200% yan, ang net contribution niyan, 2%. Right? Kasi 1, 100%. So mm-hmm. maging 2%. Eh kung yung 98 or 99% ng portfolio ay down sabihin natin ng 45%. Wala. No. <laughs> diba? Lugi pa rin at the overall mm-hmm. portfolio. So, kumbaga, from there, pag nakita mo yung overall portfolio, dyan natin talagang makikita kung talagang magaling yung tao or yung expert. Hindi magaling ang tao o expert na kumita sa isa o dalawang stock na maliit lang na portion ng portfolio niya. Hindi magaling yun. Pwedeng chamba lang yun. Diba? Pwedeng nakachismis lang yun. Hindi siya magaling. Dapat makita natin yung overall portfolio, 
Okay, at kung ano ang performance ng portfolio nila over the years. Hindi lang one month, hindi lang. Kasi marami dyan, oh, I made so much money on two weeks or three weeks. Eh, baka mamaya bull market pa yan, chumamba pa yan, mm-hmm. nakachismis lang yan, di ba? Baka nakachismis lang yan eh. Okay, but pag nakita mo over time, it actually can it cancels out the chismis and then the the suerte factor mm-hmm. nawawala yon yun ang tunay na magaling na expert kapag yung mm-hmm. overall portfolio niya lahat ng stocks ha lahat ng stocks pag tingnan mo over the years puro positive or hindi siya mas mababa than kunare the overall stock market the index yun ang magaling pero one two months chumamba tas malit ng part of portfolio hindi magaling yun nagmamayabang <laughs> nagmamayabang uh, lang yun mm-hmm. i would Saka agree para ma- para yeah, mag-enroll yeah, yeah. ka lang sa ano para mag-enroll ka lang sa seminar nila eh, actually ang tip ko diyan ano eh too short an- eh ang tip ko diyan to... pag may pinakita silang chart tanungin mm, yes. mo kung kailan yung date ng chart Kasi yes. may mga nahuli na ako na pinagyayabang nila yung trading strategy nila. Mm-hmm. Pero yung mga example sila sa chart, 2015 pa, 2019. Wala na yun. Wala na yun. Wala na yun. Just go na yun. Pero kasi sobrang ganda yung setup eh. Ang ganda. Yes. So hmm. kung hindi ka masyadong, uh, kung wala kang scrutiny dun sa pinapakita mm-hmm. sa yung chart, bakita mo 2015, 2014 pa yung mga charts. <laughs> Ah, am um, ipakita mo sa akin yung 2020, yes. 2019 na right. trades mo. So yun. That's right. Oh, kasi iba yung economic condition noon eh, 'di ba? Yeah. Sa ngayon, tama, yeah. tama 'yon. Different conditions, different times, different strategies. That's so, right. Kasi I mean, kung ano yung time. No? Tapos kadikit noon is yung track record ng tao. Of course. Okay. Uh, dapat uh, malaman mo yung track record niya. Again, balik tayo. Dapat yung overall portfolio. Hindi lang kung ilang percent ang kinita niya in that particular stock for one or two weeks. Kasi madali tayong masilaw. Okay? Again, there is also a ch- factor of chamba or chismis. Pero dapat ipakita niya yung overall portfolio niya, yung track record for the previous siguro five years. Para I makita ninyo. Kadikit ng track record is... Uh, Basically, the background of the person. Yes, that's right. Uh-oh. That's right. That's mm-hmm. right. That's right. Ano ba yung that's kanyang right. ano uh, background? True. Ano yung mm-hmm. certifications niya? And mm-hmm. uh, sinabi mo ng track record. So that's kung right. maingay yan ngayon, tingnan mo, kailan ba ito nagsimula? Kung Uh-oh. nagsimula lang to two, three months ago, ay parang hindi to masyadong trustworthy. Mm-hmm. No? Pero nakita mm-hmm. mo for the past uh, five years, Eh, mm-hmm. talagang consistent siya magbigay ng mga tips niya, mga stock market mm-hmm. advice niya, etc. Then, mm-hmm. we would say na ito medyo ano na to, credible na to. Kasi may yes. mga may mga guru-guruhan <laughs> na <laughs> kapag bull market, doon lang sila maingay. Pero pag oh, um, oh, down, market, tahimik. down market, tahimik, ganyan. So, that's right, ano yun that's eh? Right. It's, um, I, think, I think part din yan, no? Yung kapag nagbibigay ng tips kala may analysis din na kapag down ito yung strategy niya kapag up ito yung strategy niya kapag bear market at certain periods ito yung strategy niya because major red flag na for me kapag nag alam mo yun nag cherry pick lang siya at certain points in time mm-hmm. tapos doon lang yung focus parang mm-hmm. minamagnify lang niya yung gusto niya ipapromote or sale tapos yes. that leads to conflict of interest na din yung diniscuss ni Sir Renzi kanina. Mm-hmm. Again, nagmamayabang lang yun. Ito, <laughs> uh-huh. uh-huh. yung last two, magkadikit. Uh-huh. Okay? Uh, yung binibigay nilang recommendation or, or kunwari, may nakita ka sa YouTube na ganyan na, oh, uh, what's the what what's the best uh, investment for 100,000 pesos or what's the, hmm. you know, or X amount of money tapos may 100,000 ka tapos Oy, siya, may 100,000 ako. Sinabi niya, yun yung best investment, so doon ko ilalagay. Tanongin yung sarili niyo, kilala ka ba niya? Yeah. Okay. You're on the other side of YouTube, you're on the other side of the screen, kilala ka ba niya? Nakausap ka ba niya? Okay? Para, kumbaga, para masabi niya na ito yung best sa'yo. Parang doktor lang yan, okay? Yes. Walang doktor na makapagsasabi na ito yung best medicine for you kung di ka niya nakakausap kasi hindi niya alam yung sakit mo. Hindi niya alam mm-hmm. yung overall health mo. Right? Eh kung alimbawa, eh, maniniwala ka na, oh, this is the best investment for 100,000. It is like you na parang may nakita ka sa YouTube na doktor at sinabi na this is the best, ano, this is the best medicine for headache. Okay? 
eh allergic ka pala sa ano, allergic ka pala sa ibuprofen halimbawa. Mm-hmm. Na maraming tao ay allergic sa ibuprofen. So kumbaga, from there dapat makita mo na yung any recommendation dapat manggagaling sa tao na kilala ka, na nakausap ka. At para kunin mo yung recommendation na yun, no, kadikit nun, applicable ba sa'yo yun? Yung yes, sinabi yeah. niya. Di ba? Halimbawa, this is the best stock, ganyan. Or, di ba, maraming ganyan eh. Di ba, ito yung okay ng ganitong stock, itong IPO, da 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 etc., etc. Pero, ang tanongin mo is that applicable ba para sa'yo yun? Kasi, bawat isang stock, meron yung uh, most oh, uh, most probably computed na growth rate or return for the following years for the next 20 30 years so ngayon ang tanong mo is that eh magkano ba yung kailangan mong amount okay so kung halimbawa kailangan mo 10 million pesos in halimbawa 20 years time eh kung para makarating ka ng 10 million pesos in in 20 years time at kaila, at ang budget mo lang halimbawa is kunare 2000 pesos a month at halimbawa din ang kailangan mo is 10% okay, na growth rate for the next 20 years para maging 10 million yon. then baka mamaya yung binibigay na stock sa'yo, hindi 10% ang growth rate, baka mamaya mababa pa. So, that stock or that investment may not be the best one for you. So, wag ka agad mm-hmm. maniniwala kasi hindi ka niya nakausap eh. Hindi niya alam yeah. yung yeah. role mo. And that goes Good. back to what I said earlier na kailangan natin i-contextualize saan ba sila mm-hmm. nagagaling at saan ba tayo nagagaling. Dahil halimbawa, mm-hmm nag lang tayo ng certain investment rules, let's yes. say 10 a month. Pero yung kailangan mo pala, 20K, 30K. Oh, oh. Kung 10K lang ini-invest mo, behind ka na no, ng 10K to reach mm. your financial goal. So, kailangan mo pala to, in- to increase your investment or maghanap ng ibang instrument that gives mm-hmm. you a higher return para you reach your goal. Yes, no? that's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ay, ang gusto ko yung sinabi mo na uh, yung analogy na parang doktor, no? Kasi yes. marami akong pinapanood ng mga medical doctors sa YouTube. Mm-mm. Kasi uh, interested din ako sa mga binibigay nila ng mga health tips. And uh, napapansin ko, yung mga medical doctors na content creators din, they Mm-mm. always avoid giving uh, yung medical advice na very Mm-mm. specific. Yes. Usually, okay. they just give uh, they just give you mga general mga tips, general tips uh, na you should sleep uh, regularly, eat a balanced diet, etc. Pero mm-hmm. when someone asks them na what is the best cure for this specific medicine, ang yes. laging, ang default na sagot nila is uh, you should go, go and talk to your doctor because there is a battery of tests that you need to, yes. to undergo to be able to determine the best uh uh ano ba, plan for you no the best mm-hmm. uh treatment plan for you mm-hmm. and even yung mga kaibigan ko ito mga kaibigan mm-hmm. ko na to ha, ng mga doktor ha, pag tinatanong ko sa kanya na kuwari mayroon na akong message no sabi niya doc ano uh, masakit yung ulo ko ganyan 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 at sasabi mm-hmm. sa akin nung no, kaibigan ko to ha, na uh, mag, mm-hmm. magpa-appointment ka sa doktor kasi <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hindi kita pwedeng resitahan or sabihan ng gamot uh, over text kasi I need to know your vital stats, di ba? Kasi yeah, yung, sakit right. ng ulo, baka mamaya uh, maraming causes, di ba? Pwede right. high blood or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. dapat alam yung vital stats mo or yung mm-hmm. blood work mo, blood chemistry mo. And mm-hmm. it's the same sa financial advice. Ang investments, mm-hmm. parang mga gamot din yan. Na yes, that's right, that's right. Ang, hindi ba sabasta the dispense uh, uh, so be hindi very okay careful sa kanya, okay hindi porke okay, okay sa kanya okay sa yo uh, tama i agree with that so when you are listening to someone who is giving financial advice always keep in mind na mm-hmm. uh, whatever they are giving out as tips or advice may mm-hmm. not be applicable to yes. you so iba pa rin yung That's may right. kausap ka na financial mm-hmm. advisor na tiningnan yung iyong blood chem or kumbaga uh, tiningnan yung salin mo pinag-aralan uh, yung cash uh, flow mo uh, para right. ma-determine yung best na financial plan or best investment mm. para sa financial goals mo so mm, that's right that's right i guess that's the ano eh that's the the Pain. foundation oo yun talaga yung pinaka kailangan tandaan nila no mm-hmm. uh, aside from right. determining kung totoo ba tong 
pinapakinggan ko, mayroon bang credibility tong uh, pinapakinggan ko. Kasi may track course, record ba to? Uh, ganyan, nagmamayabang lang ba? Baka may conflict uh, of interest, ganyan. So I guess that's the first part, no? Uh, yes. Siguro mm-hmm. doon muna natin na mayroong authority and credible yung pinapakinggan natin. But that's right. on the second part, sa uh-huh. kahit na credible yan, kahit na talagang well-respected financial guru, expert uh-huh. yung pinapakinggan mo, Importante pa rin to determine kung yung binibigay ba niyang advice ay applicable sa iyo. So hindi natin yes. sinasabi na mali yung advice nila. Ang sinasabi yes. natin is applicable ba yung advice nila sa iyo. So sabi ni yes. Adrian nga no, it's important to uh, contextualize or alamin right. kung ano ba talaga yung mga needs mo and mm-hmm. if yung binibigay na advice will address yung needs, mm-hmm. financial needs mo. So yun yung uh, Pwede Sabi ba yung kalangan <laughs> Sabi nga nung kaibigan ko, no? Hindi lahat ng gamot sa sakit ng ulo ba yung Jessic? <laughs> Which illustrates, diba, the, the really the complexity, no? And, uh, kumbaga, the, ano yun? The, you know, of financial products, diba? No one yeah. financial product. Hindi Ayala Stock, hindi BPI, hindi Ayala Corp, or SM, or whatever. Or dito, ang makakasagot sa financial, ano mo, financial plan mo. Really have to, ano, to talk to someone na uh, makikita lahat talaga. Yun nga, yung battery of test, and kung nasan ka talaga. Yeah. Tama, tama. And so, lastly, and, no, kung sa medical field, biodressic, hindi lahat, no? for headache sa atin naman hindi lahat bull for <laughs> hello oh, hello hello good ka mababash ka makakalas ka ng mga insurance agents yeah. <laughs> Uh, may meme ka na din may meme ka na din but yeah so I think that's it yeah. no? so sa mga ano natin sa mga viewers and listeners natin so these are the different uh, kumbaga ano ba tawag natin considerations dito? considerations okay questions okay kumbaga kung may four way test <laughs> <laughs> di ba ito yung mga four way uh. night questions for you to ask ourselves no bago tayo maniwala Okay, with uh, with someone na napapakinggan natin. Alright. So, kung may natutunan kayong bago dito sa video na to, then please give At it a thumbs up. At dapat naman na may natutunan kayo. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, share the video to your friends para mas uh, matulungan natin yung mga kaibigan natin na mm, yes, please, uh, please. Mag- maging mas financially literate. And mm-hmm. of course, please subscribe to our channel. So, click nyo lang yung subscribe button. That is yeah. math. Or click that notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. Hayan, nag-ring na si Sir Renzi. Hayan. <laughs> so, maraming salamat sa panonood and uh, see you, you again sa next video natin. Alright, bye-bye! Bye-bye! See you guys!